mountain biking is my true joy. It's like I've got this cape behind me and it's all my spirit and it's just soaring. It's just pure joy to me. Hey, I'm Jen Taylor. I'm a resident of Grand Junction, longtime resident, about 27 years now. Rowdy mom of three. I've got two of my own sons and my stepdaughter, uh, Ellie, Skyler, and Jet. I'm a realtor with the Christie Reese Group. There's something that is almost spiritual about connecting people with place. On a micro level, place meaning their home. I'm a super, super passionate citizen of this community. Now, I mean, look where we are. We're, we're five minutes from downtown Grand Junction in the Grand Valley. We're on epic single track. And we've got this valley that is world-class climbing, river sports, spit in any direction. And you've got another world-class destination all around us. Incredible skiing, incredible mountain town destinations. This place is so rad. It's the people that really bring it to life. I grew up in Indiana with wheels underneath me. I always had dirt bikes and three-wheelers and four-wheelers. And my dad said, girls don't drive trucks. And I was like, oh, that's not right. So when I got my Land Cruiser, I was like, girls drive trucks. <laughs> I was like, I love my truck. And it's such a, it was such a part of me. My senior year of high school, went to Colorado with my best friend and skied. And I was like, this is where I'm going to school and I'm gonna make it work. Yeah, I went to school at University of Denver, got an environmental science degree. I was part of the first graduating class. So having grown up as a little BMX racer, I was immediately drawn to mountain biking. You know, Denver's awesome and I love my job at the zoo, but I have this opportunity like once in my life to go challenge myself in the mountains. And I moved to Telluride and was racing mountain bikes. I was born to ride and explore and travel. One thing led to another and I ended up moving to Grand Junction, but I never intended to stay. It happened though that there was this company in town that made outdoor apparel and they said, you know, would you like a job? And that was first and foremost, I said, yeah. I thought one day when I have kids, I wanna make really cool outdoor apparel for them. I'll never forget that, that was always in my mind. And um, left the company, went to work for DT Swiss, the bicycle spoke manufacturer. Over the course of the years, it became pretty apparent to me that my true job was to raise my son. Yet I had a lot to give professionally to the world and to the, you know, our immediate community. And my sisters and I actually had saved money to buy a cabin. The opportunity to by the company that I had worked for, that outdoor apparel manufacturer came up. And I talked to my sisters and I said, what if we took that money and we instead bought this? So we started Mountain Sprouts. Um, we made outdoor apparel for kids. There, weren't, there wasn't a whole lot in that world at the time. And I made my son a robe, the coolest little fleece robe. And I was like, this is, I think, what I'm supposed to be doing. We were purchased in 2006 by a company that had just started called Mountain Khakis. And so through all those years of corporate growth and corporate maturity and growing these brands, I worked with the city to, um, to launch what would become the Riverfront at Dos Rios and uh, a master plan that is um, a mixed use right on the riverfront, um, restoring blighted property that used to be a super fun site and 8,500 junk cars and all that. So fast forward, um, thinking about how to monetize my passion for the valley, but it was like a light bulb went off. Real estate, that could work and I could do it differently. I could do it in a way that was meaningful to me. It's the most beautiful journey to witness. It sounds so, so cliche, but the way it works out, whether it does happen, doesn't happen, another house, this house, does, it is always meant to be. I'm continually floored by that. I wrote a list, I wrote a short list of the real estate agents that I really had the most respect for. My favorite person on the list was Christy. She then shared with me like how she wanted to be able to give a percentage. We all tithe to some degree. She really wanted for her group to be a leader in this way, to inspire other groups to also give. I was like, Christy, that's incredible and I can help you do that and what we've created with that really speaks to that it's it's mission in motion the circle fund makes our community a better place and hopefully it's inspiring other companies to think bigger about their role and their responsibility and that's what makes it truly golden that's what makes it true I think in its nature is that it's not about us it's about our clients and it's about this community that's it's beautiful <laughs>